karibu katika website programming. Katika video ya leo tutajifunza concept inaitwa Ajax. Ajax inatusaidia sisi kuweza kufetch data pamoja na kusendi request ya ku access data fulani katika database au katika server. Kwa mfano unaweza ukawa na website yako lakini ukawa unataka kuweza ku display data kutoka katika saver au kutoka katika database. Tunapotumia Ajax manake ni kwamba unaweza uka display data ambazo zinatoka kwenye database bila delay au bila tunaita page reload. Kwa mfano mzuri hapa nina site yangu hii hapa. Nikikliki hapa unaona data zimetokea. Hizi data zimetoka katika saver. Kwa hiyo tungitegemea baada ya kukliki button uone page inazunguka inarodi kwa ajili ya kufetch hizi data. Kwa hiyo hizi ni data ambazo zimetoka katika file ambayo ilipo katika saver. Mfano mzuri ni huu. Lakini pia hizi pia ni data pia. Data hizi zinatoka katika file ambayo ilipo katika saver. Nikikliki hapa unaona data zinatokea bila page kuzunguka au ku reload. Mfano mwingine ni huu. Hizi data zinatoka katika database. Nikikliki hapa utaona data hizi zimekuwa displayed bila page reload. Kwa hiyo Ajax inatusaidia sisi kutengeneza website ambayo tutaweza kutuma request na ku receive response kutoka katika database bila page ku reload. Kitendo cha page kuzunguka au ku reload hiyo tunaita ni synchronous au sometimes inaitwa ni conventional website ambapo a uh, web page itakuwa ina reload kuweza ku send ile http request. Nikitoa mfano mzuri wa kuielezea ya Ajax ili iweze kueleweka kwa mfano nimeingia katika website hii hapa ninafanya registration nimeingiza details ambazo zinaonekana hapa kisha nabonyeza submit kibonyeza submit utaona page inazunguka ina ina reload sasa hii inaitwa ni synchronous au conventional website yani inabidi sasa user aweze kusubiri kipindi ile request imekuwa sent asubiri nini response ya hizi data ambazo wamejaza hapa kwa hiyo ukitumia Ajax manake data hizi zitaweza kwenda katika database bila page kuweza kufanyaje kuweza kuzunguka na hii inaweza ku enhance performance ya website. Mfano mwingine mzuri ni huu hapa. Hapa nimeingia katika website fulani na ninaweza nika search item fulani. Kwa hiyo nikiandika item yangu mfano ka inatakiwa nibonyeze ili iweze ku search. Hiki kitendo cha ku load Kusearch nilicho kiandika hapa ndo tunakiita ni synchronous. Mfano mwingine ni huu hapa. Nimeingia katika website hii hapa. Nataka kusearch item. For example house. Zeni nikibonyeza search utaona hii page ina inazunguka ina reload kuweza kuangalia kwenye database kama kuna results ambazo zinafanana na nilichoandika mimi. Hiki kitendo kinaitwa ni synchronous. Kwa hiyo tunapotumia Ajax manake tunakuwa na uwezo wa ku Send request na ku receive response bila page kuzunguka kama unavyoona hii hapa ambapo mpaka sasa bado inazunguka ku search ile uh, item ambayo nimeandika hapa so uh, ajax manake ni kwamba ni asynchronous xml and javascript manake una interact na system au server au database asynchronous yani uh, bila page kuweza ku au kuzunguka na faida kama tulivyosema ina improve performance. Kwa hiyo tutajifunza katika video hii namna kutengeneza page hizi tatu, page ya kwanza hii ambayo tutaona namna ku retrieve uh, data kutoka katika hard disk drive, yani hilo litakuwa ni physical file. Ambapo file yenyewe ndo hili lina text za kawaida. Lakini tutajifunza kutengeneza uh, program ambayo ita fetch data kutoka katika saver lakini data hizo zipo katika file fulani file hilo lipo katika mfumo wa json so nikibonyeza click here unaona page haizunguki wala haile load zeni concept ya mwisho tutajifunza namna ku fetch data kutoka katika database ambapo nikiklik hapa utaona hizi items zinatoka katika database na database yenyewe tutatumia database ya ambayo inafahamika ya MySQL So kiangalia haya majina ya our users huyu na huyu wamekuja kuwa displayed hapa mara baada ya kukliki click here basi wali zile data zimekuwa zimekuwa selected
Kwa hiyo concept fupi ya Ajax ni kwamba uh, inatuwezesha sisi kuweza ku, kusendi na kurisivu yani kusendi request na kurisivu response asynchronous baina ya web application pamoja na ima ikawa ni database au ikawa ni server ambayo ina mafile ndio maana ya ya Ajax so Ajax inatumia language ya JavaScript of course Ajax si uh, kusema ni kuna programming language inaitwa Ajax hapana Ajax ni just like a concept kwamba ni asynchronous JavaScript in the XML sio programming language hamna programming language inaitwa Ajax isipokuwa una integrate kwenye JavaScript kitu ambacho tutaenda kukiona so kama nilivyosema kwamba Ajax ni asynchronous JavaScript in the XML kwamba ni code za JavaScript of course au za jQuery lakini katika video hii objective ya kwanza ni kuweza ku load text file from the server ambapo tutatengeneza page ya namna hii kuweza ku load text file from the server objective ya pili ni ku load json file from the server so json file ni hii ambayo ina data hizi hapa then objective ya tatu to project the response from the database uh, so hapa ku project maana yake just kuonyesha uh, hizi data zimetoka katika database Okay. na language tutatumia HTML, CSS pamoja na JavaScript na database tutatumia MySQL. References kwa notes zaidi uh, labda pengine kama unataka kwenda mbele zaidi utaiklik hiyo link ambayo nimeweka hapo afu utakuja hapa katika W3School kwa ajili ya kupata uh, maelezo mengi zaidi kuhusiana na Ajax. Kwa utakuja kujifunza hapa uh, Ajax kwa fupi wake lakini uh, katika video hii na just ku introduce a, a fundamental ya 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 Ajax. So tupa moja uh, katika video hii. So Ajax A inasimama kama vile asynchronous. J inasimama kama vile JavaScript. A inasimama kama end na X inasimama kama X well inapitia step kama nne ili kuweza kutengeneza program kama tuliyoiona hapo hiyo uh, step ya kwanza una prepare request kwa ajili ya ku send request of course hapa tume fetch data hizi kutoka katika system kwa hiyo ili uweze kufetch data kutoka kwenye system kuna step unapitia kwanza ni ku prepare request ya pili ni ku send the request ya tatu ni step number tatu ni ku process request na na receive response kutoka katika system katika database Tunahitaji Ajax kwa sababu ina enhance web performance kwa sababu hauna haja ku wait kipindi mna request data kutoka katika database. So, tafungua editor unaotumia ku editia code kama ni Notepad++ au kama tunatumia um, Visual Studio Code no problem. So, hapa utatengeneza page ya uh, ya HTML lakini pia kutakuwa na kodi za JavaScript kwa sababu tumesema kwamba Ajax yenyewe ni asynchronous JavaScript and the XML. Well. So, ku integrate Ajax manake ni code za JavaScript. So, nitatengeneza just ID kwa ajili ya ku display contents hizi hapa. So, nitatengeneza ID kwa ajili ya ku display contents hizo lakini kwa kuanzia tuta process file ambayo itakuwa kwenye computer kwanza, alafu baadaye tutaona namna ku process data ambazo zitatoka kwenye kwenye database. So, first one tutatengeneza physical file ambayo itakuwa ndani ya computer so so andika div id uh, then put content itakuwa ni id ya div put content id ya div ko data zitaonekana eneo hili data zitaonekana hapo so kinachofuata ni kutengeneza button kama tulivyoona hapo kuna button so namba ata click so button id equal to button hiyo ndio button ambayo ataibonyeza then click here itakuwa ni neno ambalo tutaonekana by then document yangu hii na save kwenye local disk c na kwenye kwenye zamp kwenye chti docs hapa na save kama index then dot php file extension then click save Zeni nitafungua ZAMP control panel na kisha nita start service kwa sababu ile file inaenda ku katika server 
Okay. Nitakuja hapa nitaandika localhost kwenye web address bar. Nita kliki okay. So page yetu hii hapa inaonekana. So akikliki hapa data zitaonekana hapa. So tunakuja kwenye 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 page yetu. Action ita take place pale ambapo button hii itabonyezwa. So now nafungua script za javascript hizi hapa then tuna take kulisten and hapo button hii itakuwa imebonyezwa so let button so saw na document so to get element by id that is id yenyewe ndio hii hapa inaitwa button kwenye hiyo button to tunaweza okay let ni keyword inayotumika ku declare variable nikisema let na nikisema var sa same kwenye uh, javascript button ni just a variable equal to document document ni object ni object wa hii page yetu ndio hii hapa page nzima ndio document na ni object get element by id ni built in method ambayo inatuwezesha sisi ku access hii id na id yenyewe inaitwa ni button hichi kitendo tunakita ni document object model ni just a concept tunaitumia kwa ajili ya ku access html tags na tag kuu ya html ni object moja inaitwa document na kumbuka kila tag katika html ni object lakini object mkuu ni document so atakofuata ndani yake zitakuwa ni sub objects kama vile button kama vile pa, paragraph kama vile heading kama vile footer header na nyinginezo zote hizo ziko ndani ya parent member inaitwa document so ku access parent member yoyote ndani ya, ya, ya document yako ni lazima utumie parent object inaitwa document so kwa sababu no longer sau button yetu tumesha initialize na uh, na i, kile button ambayo tumeipa id so now tutaka to listen if button is clicked what to do so button ambayo ndo id ambayo tume declare so variable ambayo tume declare dot add event to listen so add event to listen so dot add event to listen ni e ni e, built in method nimetumia button variable no id clear hapo ku access method ambayo ni built in and it add event listener we want to listen if button is clicked event yenyewe inaitwa click because kuna event nyingi katika javascript kuna focus kuna mouse hover zipo event nyingi kuna key on focus sasa hii event ni kwamba button ame ame just ku click. Aki click then napitisha argument nyingine hapa natengeneza function. Function yangu itakuwa ni hii. Then naweka bracket za namna hiyo then nashuka chini. Then hapa naweka semicolon. So kipindi button ya ki click tutengeneza function all task. Hii function ni may call hapa just ku call hii function lakini nitaenda kutengeneza leta kule chini all task just a function ambayo nimetengeneza so hapa najua kutengeneza hiyo function kutengeneza function katika javascript tunaanza na keyword inaitwa function ikifuatiwa na function name ambayo nimesema ni all task ambayo ni hii hapa so nataka ni test endapo kodi zangu hizi zinafanya kazi kabla sijafika mbali kwa sababu unapoandika program si vema kuandika uh, line nyingi afu kaja test hutajua umekosea wapi so andika line chache afu ufanye test so alright for example hello yes alright kuona kama inafanya kazi so come to refresh our page then click unaona hello so now manake zinafanya kazi so step number one ya ku load data ambazo zipo kwenye saver kwa kutumia jax ni ku prepare the request prepare the request the first one to declare variable late xml well, http this is a variable 
zeni na yeseni variable yangu na new exam wao http request kwa hiyo ni mia sign kwenye hii object inaitwa exam wao http request then at the end of the line naweka semicolon let ni keyword inayotumika ku declare something na variable of course is equal to new na initialize object kisha naitumia object yangu hii hapo kuweza ku open ilo file kwenye computer ilipo same gani so natumia dot paleta ku access method inaitwa open then naweka bracket na namna hii so hii method ya open inapatikana ndani ya object inaitwa exam wala http request inapitisha argument ya tatu argument ya kwanza zinakuwa ndani ya quotation ni method inayotumika ku access ilo file method ni zipo of course kuna get kuna post kwa ajili ya ku send na receive data so sababu hapa tuna get data tunatumia get then unaweka semicolon na weka argument ya pili argument ya pili ni path ilo file ilipo wapi so uh, lazima nilitengeneze ilo file so just ku na, 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 nafungua notepad hapo then naandika text hapa zozote for example hizi ndio text zangu just kuandika text then nakuja ku save ili file naenda ku save kwenye local disk c na kwenye zamp naenda kwenye uh, hypertext document htdocs then hapa nina save kama data set jina la file then file extension ni .txt by default na click okay so nishatengeneza a physical file so hapa naandika data set .txt ile ndio file yangu na hii ndio ta argument ya pili argument ya tatu hii ni asynchronous kama tulivyosema java ajax ni asynchronous javascript ndio exam wao so ili ku specify kwamba hii ni ajax write true maana yake now tunaweza tuka share information between web application and server asynchronous without page reload but then na terminate so step we nofata ni just ku send the request after preparing the request another step is sending the request so tunatumia object yetu ile tulotengeneza exam http dot, dot send to send the request to the server after sending the request una process the request katika step number 3 katika step number 3 una process the, the request ku process the request mnake ni exam where dot http dot on ready state change on ready state change manake kipindi hii request inakuwa sent kwenda kwenye server server ita ipokea hii request na kuweza kuangalia kinachokuwa requested ni nini kinachokuwa requested ni na open ni na find file ambalo linaitwa dataset.txt ambalo lipo kwenye physical drive kwenye hard disk drive so hii request itapitia hatua nne hazipungui nne itaiandaa hii request yako na kisha katika step number nne ya mwisho ita check state state manake kama ili file lipo au halipo sometime naweza kawa na mistake limekosewa spelling kama hivi manake ili file itakuwa tena hakuna file kama hili so state manake hapa itakuwa ni ili file halipatikani so kuna step kama nne ambapo baada ya kusend request inapitia na step ya nne ndio step ya mwisho na inakuwa ni successful kwamba file lipo so equal to function sabu ni function na kuwa na bracket za namna hii so now here we need to 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 check whether a state ipo katika step na manne state nimesema kuna hatua inapitia ili kuweza kuangalia kama ili file kama lipo so now if exam wao ili object yetu dot ready state equal to four kama ready state equal to four manake hiyo ni hatua ambayo data zimesha kuwa tayari kwa ajili ya kuja huko kama response then nitaingia huko ndani then else manake hili file halipo so now alright the file is not exist file halipo then una terminate so kama file ilipo kwenye 
hadi disk drive basi ni kuliprint nita reprint lakini nita lionyesha kwenye ile div id mboka tulitengeneza div id tukasema put content na file letu ambalo ni dataset.txt litakuja kuwa displayed kwenye div hii nita put content so now nita sema hivi document dot get element by id then put content ili id yetu dot ina html ina html inatumika kuputi content katika div equal to xml ile object yetu dot response dot response then response text sasa hapa hatua hii ni hatua ambayo tunafanyaje tuna just ku receive the response response inapokuja kutoka katika server inakuja katika namna kadhaa inaweza kaja kama response text au ikaja kama uh, json data response text au json data au sometimes inaweza kaja kwenye uh, hali ambayo kwamba ni response example so kuna response text ni just a text kawaida na kuna response example so kwa sasa tumetumia response text okay so now next save changes nikija ni refresh ni click hapo the file is not found just check ya okay uh, so to remove it else so save changes now uh, come to the fresh so now we can click on file to just appear here hapa so can you fort and just to apply css so to apply css utakuja kwenye rs bar tutamlika bootstrap boot bootstrap ya hapo then try click then try click the link ya kwanza zenu tabonyeza uh, somewhere ya kuweza kudownload uh, bootstrap so download tabonyeza download button zenu tuje kubonyeza hapa download hii hapo so sha download utai kufungua by then utai unzip then utaifungua hii hapo utachukua file la css so utachukua file la css utakuja ku paste kwenye local disk c tenda kwenye zamu na kwenye docs so utalichukua ile file la css uta extract hapa na ile extract hapo hii hapa file letu folder sorry la css so now unakuja kwenye document yetu hapa na just ku include hiyo style sheet so link rel equal to style style sheet style sheet and uh, href equal to uh, css here for the letter then uh, bootstrap dot css okay so now uh, div yetu ni hii hapa ambayo tumeitengeneza so now hapa tunatengeneza uh, div uh, div uh, div class equal to container uh, then uh, again here a div class equal to raw yeah, then uh, just create a div div class div uh, class equal to raw so sorry we just raw then in the corner zero so div class container just uh, kwa ajili ya kutengeneza zile grid na div class row na div class na uh, row nimerudia sorry this is a uh, be column so column column then column is a uh, column medium because we use medium uh, 6 in a trash hapo so tunatengeneza div uh, class equal to card then uh, just create a card 
then uh, u plus equal to card header uh, header then uh, your data this uh, it upon header it upon displayed up so your data so uh, div class and equal to uh, card body be card body okay takona mna hii then just so now nikija ku refresh page yangu hii baada ya kusave changes ya kwenye just uh, local host unajua kuona sasa appearance inaonekana namna hii so nibaki hii hapa kwa button mpaka click text inatokea hapo so kuja kwenye uh, div class ambayo ni card then it una set margin top equal to 5 and we set uh, div header here hapo div uh, class card header then we set background we saw the background big then big uh, for example big info then text is when you open so just like big uh, text just uh, like uh, white kwa namna hii so now kuja ku save changes kuja kuwa na page yetu so nikiklik data zinatokea namna hii so button na format so just come to uh, button here so just add the attribute class is equal to b tn then b tn uh, right page then then uh, big big uh, big uh, sorry Yes, uh, big small big uh, sm big small then width width we just 50 namna hii so now ni save changes ni jani ki load button yetu hii hapa na just we are click here then when i click so now hapa tumekuwa tume load a physical file ambayo ndio data set na lipo kwenye 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 directory kinachofuata ni kwenda sasa ku data ambazo zipo kwenye database ya MySQL. So tutakuja hapa tutaandika localhost then tutaandika forward slash tutaandika php myadmin click okay. So tutakuja kubonyeza new tutakuja kutengeneza uh, new database. So database yangu naipa jina la ajax then na click create so unaweza kutengeneza table table yangu itakuwa na columns nne table hii inaipa jina la users then na click go just click go so itakuwa na username itakuwa na email itakuwa na password itakuwa na date so username just data type ni variable character then data size just uh, put 14 atosha username na email data type ni variable character then uh, size 14 password ni just uh, just put text then the date data type and the date uh, just find the date and time date and time and just capture current time so uh, come to now index then choose the, uh, of course the email to be a primary key or uh, email so just choose email as a primary key then you click go so click save tayari tumesha tengeneza database so now let's insert data katika hii table ah uh, hapa insert then put data for example username is ali then email is ali for example at uh, gmail.com then uh, password 1234 then uh, just click username nyingine ni just this one email this one mm dot com and password is 1234 for example then click go so kija kwenye close utaja kukuta user wetu tuloa add ni hawa hapa kuna ali kuna mina so now tunakuja hapa kwenye kazi yetu tunatengeneza a uh, new file natengeneza new file kwa ajili ya ku process sasa data kutoka kwenye database kwa kutumia ajax without page reload so Uh, file then new so new php file then click create then footer is 
kama kuna kodi zipo pale za HTML za tipo wepo then save file letu tunalipa jina la fetch data dot php hizo tunalisave hapa fetch data take up so now tunataka to connect kwenye database kwa ajili ya kuselect hizo data kwenye hilo file la fetch data dot php so the first step is by declaring uh, php tag kusabili ni ni file la la php then we establish connection kwa ajili ya connect kwenye database hii database ni system kwa hiyo kutakuwa na username kutakuwa na password of course kutakuwa na server name so just create a variable na ipe jina la con equal to build in function na sqli underscore uh, connect hii ni build in function inotumika connect kwenye database kwenye database server na inadai argument nne kumbuka hii ni database ya na haijakai one of course ipo kwenye system ni server gani ambayo ni host hii database hiyo server inaitwa ni local host sasa sababu ni server kuna user pia user of course by default na kwa ni root na root anaga password pale ambapo umem create so argument ya kwanza ni host ni local host ambayo ni computer hii ambayo tuna, tunaitumia argument ya pili ni user user by default ni root ambayo yupo kwenye hii system Argument tunafuata ni password. Password no password. So just put quotation. Password inofuata ni database name. Uh, database name is uh, Ajax. So just write Ajax. Then you just come here to terminate. Okay. Uh, so now we need to test the connection if it's successful. So if uh, variable con variable con if connection is successful just display display this uh, text echo welcome then uh, kama connection haja kuwa successful it means is else echo error for example error then you just come to kuweza ku load file letu so local host then uh, file letu inaitwa fetch data.php so na just kuona ni welcome so ukikosea kitu kidogo labda database umeandika aja uh, x ya ipo so unaweza uh, kukuta kuna some errors na database is unknown hapo so lazima uh, kila kitu kiandike vizuri so hapa ambapo connection imekuwa successful ndipo tunaandika query ya kuselect data kwa kwenye kwenye database so query lazima iwe ndani ya quotation alafu lazima terminate kumu ndani ya quotation tunaandika select o from table name table name is user where we want to select data eh, table table name uh, ambayo inaitwa ni users here hapo so select all from table name is users you can limit a number of rows by writing limit limit for example only three rows okay so tuna yasaini hii query yetu kwenye variable so we write a variable sql equal to this statement so now tunaweza tukaitumia hii uh, variable sql kuweza kupima hii query kama ime execute successful so variable results equal to uh, my sql uh, my sql uh, i underscore query this is this one na hapa napitisha argument ya kwanza variable con argument ya pili variable sq sq so tunatakiwa tu check hapa endapo kama kuna data kwenye uh, kwenye table kama zipo so just uh, if my sq li underscore num number of rows uh, kama kuna data zozozi chukulia mfano huu hapa nakuja kwenye sq zeni naandika sql statement hii hapa select all from what from users afu tuone nini output itakayokuja output itakayokuja imeleta row mbili row ya kwanza ni hii hapa row ya pili ni hii maana kuna user wawili kwenye 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 data kwenye table hii kwa hii ndio inaitwa number of rows baada ya kuandika query number of rows zimekuwa returned ni mbili kwa sababu user hapo wawili so tunasema if Uh, number of rows tuna i associate i uh, 
hii built in function ya kuangalia kama hii query ime return number for rows zaidi ya 0 is greater than 0 maana data kwenye table zipo of course it may return something ikiwa ni hivyo basi naingia huko ndani na ikiwa sio hivyo maana yake ime return less than 0 maana yake kitu so kwa upande wa else so just put echo no record yeah, just example no record then terminate so hapa hapa record zipo uh, natakiwa nizi nizichukue sasa hizo data ambazo zipo kwa kitabu so just uh, tengeneza variable variable row uh, so just use while while kwa sababu data zinakuja nyingi so tunatumia loop kuweza kuzi kuzi iterate while ndani ya loop mna pitisha variable equal to my sql i underscore uh, fetch fetch inatumika ku fetch data lakini zinakuja katika mfumo ambao ni nyingi then tunapitisha variable result fetch array then variable result then uh, kitachofuata sasa hapa nitasema sasa uh, uh, just variable put data uh, variable put data then inakuwa ni array equal to variable row namna hii by then ninakuja nina print sasa uh, nina print zile data zangu za kutoka table lakini hakikisha una print nje ya nini nje ya, ya loop so loop imeshia hapa hapa nitatumia json object kuweza kuput ku, ku print hizi data kwa sababu kumbuka hizi data zinaweza tunasend huko kwenye file hili la javascript kama response ndio itakuwa ni response baada ya sasa ya kutumia ile uh, http request http.open baada ya kutumia dataset sasa tutasend request kwenye php file sasa data zinapotoka kule lazima zije katika mfumo wa json so now tuna echo hapa just write echo la json encode just use json encode then unapitisha variable put data hii hapa na kuzini just here put put data yes by then unakuja una just terminate then una save changes Uh, unakuja sasa kwenye browser na just kuandika uh, localhost hapo then uh, uh, of course file yetu inaitwa fetch data so localhost then uh, fetch fetch fetch, fetch data.php so now you can see data zimekuja lakini katika mfumo wa json hizi hapa so unakuja huku kwenye index.php So now tuliandika xml mara kwanza tuliandika xml hii ht.open dataset.txt. So now we remove this one. Tunaandika fetch data .php. Sasa request sasa hivi ita itakuwa sent kwenye file la PHP ambayo ndio API ya yani application programming interface. Bas unakuwa umeadi kitu kama hicho tu. Alafu vinavyobaki huko chini ni vile vile isipokuwa kwenye kipengele hiki hapa tunakiondoa hiki tunakiondoa hapa sasa hapa kuna kesi ifuatayo mara kwanza tuli process response text tukaiput katika div lakini sasa hivi tuna response json sababu zile data zinakuja kama json okay, so now we need to create a variable here so let text kuzi uh, this one text the text data text data is equal to xml h uh, xml of course sorry is equal to http variable yangu xml ni pale xml uh, http okay, sorry just in ni fute hii hapa okay so now let uh, text data uh, equal to uh, xml as in h t 
http ambayo ndo hii hapa variable yetu inzen dot response text hii hapa okay so kwanza tunazipokea zile response kama text alafu baadaye tunaziconvert kwenda kwenye json so let json uh, json data just in variable isa sawa json dot pass hii json dot pass inatumika kuconvert response text kuwa katika json format so unapitisha humu argument yako itakuwa ni hii text data ambayo tulisema yenyewe itakuwa na inapokea hizo response sawa so, just put hiyo uh, text data okay namna hiyo so uh, now unaweza ka print uh, hii output lakini kwanza tui print kwenye console so now console ili kuona kama kuna error yoyote dot log dot log then just uh, put here json data json mm cause in here hapa json data ni hapa by just variable yetu justin technique so now save changes uh, let's come to kwenye page yetu ile yeah then here hapa then right click popote just right click then click inspect then uh, after clicking inspect uh, just uh, sorry let's close uh, this one so right click uh, then of course in inspect yes uh, then click console here hapo so click here hapo unaoja kuona data zetu hizi we just kuwa selected then amina then ali hapo so kama kutakuwa na syntax error yote for example labda nikosea hapa hii hapa basi utakuja kuiona error hapa so nikiklik hapo unaja kuona error hii hapo na ana indicate la hii ipo kwenye line number 33 na file inaitwa ni index line number 33 ni hii hapa ipo hapa kwa nini tuna print katika log tuna print katika log kwa sababu javascript yenyewe ina, ina, ina changamoto kwamba zero syntax errors hazionekani tofauti na language nyingine kama vile java programming c++ uh, python uh, na lugha nyinginezo uh, hata php pia ambazo errors zake unaziona kwenye browser kama ni php error unaiona kipindi na ime program imesha run unaiona katika browser kama ni java programming errors unaziona kwenye ide yake kama na developer android application basi utaiziona errors kule kwenye 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 IDE yake lakini javascript ni changamoto yake kwamba errors zinakuwa zionekani so tunatumia tekniki hii ya ku console.log ku print zile output kwenye console na hapo hapo ndio utakapoona errors hiyo ndio concept ambayo ni trick ambayo waga mara nyingi natumika so now kwa mfano nikiklik hapa kama kuna errors sio nikaona eh simuona kama kuna error uoni kitu unaona kimya kwa hiyo unakuwa uko njia panda haujui kwa mfano hapa nimekosea hii nikia niki refresh nikibonyeza uone chochote sasa ujui tatizo lipo wapi lakini ukitumia just a console just inspect then ukaja ukabonyeza where um just ibonyeza console uh, somewhere console console so just we close it then open it again uh, console window so somewhere to you for console hapa so ukibonyeza okay, console ile basi unaweza ukaweza ku track um hiyo about ni zungumzia so now tunatakiwa tusa tushajirizisha kwamba data hizi zimekuwa displayed so kinachofuata ni kuzi display kwenye kwenye browser so first one ni kutengeneza just a template to la solate a html template 
equal to null first one equal to to null okay so now hizi data zinapokuwa zinakuja zinakuja katika mfumo wa loop zinakuja kama tulivyozi tuzirun katika fali la fetch dot php zinakuja katika mfumo wa loop yani zipo nyingi na of course hatujui zipo ngapi so uh, kama hujui kitu uh, namba yake au idadi yake ni kingapi hawezi ukakiprint uka manual uwezo kuprint manual lazima utumie loop kuweza kuprint ku, kuzungusha ile items mpaka ile idadi ambapo items ile ipo so ndo technique zinazotumika ndo hizo loop kama vile for loop while loop uh, kuna do while loop kuna for each loop zipo loop za namna hiyo loop inatumika pale mnapotaka ku run program zaidi ya mara moja yani ku execute something zaidi ya mara moja so now let's come to index then we create let loop tunaweza variable inaitwa loop then ina so nasema for uh, loop hii hapo for loop kwa hiyo loop yetu ambayo tunaitengeneza of loop of json data ambazo hizo json ndo zinazokuja sasa ambazo zimesha convert just write here, json data json uh I suppose ni wale wetu json data let loop of json data bas basi ni naingia ndani ya loop picking that you print you kitakuwa kinazunguka zaidi ya ya mara moja so html html of course ni hii hapa uh, variable yetu so html template hii ndio nitaifanyia nini incrementation kwa sababu loop lazima iwe finite uh, loop lazima iwe na masala yafuatayo kwanza iwe na declaration ya variable iwe na condition iwe na incrementation sasa hii ndio incrementation yenyewe so html template plus eh, plus equal to then in a quotation za hivi zinapatikana kwenye button fulani kwenye keyboard kwa juu kabisa kumbuka kuna tofauti wa quotation za hivi na quotation za hivi okay so hapa nita display sasa content c zangu so kwa sababu ninatumia uh, bootstrap kwanza ni display kwa kawaida tu hapa ni display kwa kwa kawaida so just uh, uh, chini hapa kidogo hapa so uh, kumbuka tunachukua username so username hii itakuwa ni, ni username tunaenda ku print uh, just ni niandike hapa ili uweze kuona so username username ni akase semicolon kama hivyo then naandika na, na variable then naweka bracket za namna hii sorry za namna hii then nichukua hii loop yangu ambayo ndo inayozunguka hiyo loop loop natumia dot operator ku access first column katika ile database inaitwa ni username kumbuka uh, local host then uh, php my admin uh, just hapo so database yetu ilikuwa inaitwa ajax na hao ndo users kwa ya kwanza inaitwa username so just hapa andika what username username namna hii bas by then save changes ah uh, kunjo tu refresh page yetu mm. so just like local host then uh, uh then ya skip ah uh, data na so just click inspect inspect and uh, yes and yes console and click okay ah uh, kwa nini high print chochote kwa sababu hatuja put uh, hii results kwenye ile div yetu ambayo inaitwa nini put content so now uh, una put nje ya loop so nitakuja nje ya loop nitaandika document dot get element by id id yenyewe ni just a put content then dot ina dot ina what html in html then equal to html ambayo ni hii so na reprint ili container langu au template ambayo nimetengeneza uh, so just ya uh, uh, so by then na so now save changes 
I come to refresh. So now you put a username. Uh, username ni Amin of course iki hii hapa uh, username ni Amin lakini ime increment kidogo sivo ambago uh, tuli tarajo ok no problem so bado tunandaria kui, kui design no problem so now una adi uh, CSS kidogo kwenye hii page yetu so just write an ordered list then put a class class equal to uh, class ya ni already list ni uh, list of course in a list group on the list group then uh, so hii itakuwa ni list ya kwanza amba tuna print sa hiyo jina so just ya uh, uh, list list uh, class list class ya list class itakuwa ni um, itakuwa ni list of course the uh, item group kama sija kusea list item group uh, list uh, item group item item group kama sija kusea item group so by then hapa nakuja na just kui close a uh, hii list yangu so tuangalia output kwanza tuone kama tumeandika sasa hii ya just list so uh, username kuna ali username kuna mina okay so hii list naona jaka vizuri so list class ni i group list group item uh, group item of course ni concept kama hiyo so ni save changes ngija ni refresh uh, list group then list class cause yes right here list group item list ok no problem uh, hii ni kwa ni username hii hapo so tunandelea kuweza kuziprint zile uh, uh, data nyingine so just uh, copy chikipande cha list hiki hapa hiki hapa so uh, just kushua chini kidogo hapo uh, so na paste So hii itakuwa na loop wa uh, itakuwa na loop wa uh, kuna username kuna just hapa kuna email so hapa tunaandika email so loop.email email so this will be an email address email address so ni save changes ni pigeon refresh so nategemea tuone email username ali email address hapa kuna username amina so ni email address yapo lakini uh, style sheet ya apply vizuri so okay so kuna mistake kidogo tuliifanya hapa hapa so hii bracket hapa na hapa hii bracket hapa okay so now page yetu vizuri so na just quick copy hii hapa na uh, tutaenda ku display ah uh, itakuwa ni just a password so right here password so uh I'm just write here password then in ofata ni just uh date of course kwa hiyo database hapa kuna kuna date so date ambayo amekuwa registered so just write here a date and uh, write here a date date so now format to format uh, hii page yetu so just kusogeza hapa hivi and uh, let's Okay, so now you can Okay, so now save changes. You can refresh. You can use the user. So just close the console. So the user comes and it's on the alley. And it is again easy. So user appears and it's on So Nikki clicking click here kuweza ku fetch data unaweza kaona kwamba hakuna page kuzunguka hakuna ku load yani click click hizi inaonekana so hii inaitwa ni asynchronous of course hamna page kuzunguka uh, 
So now to print something here about it uh, just we put in. just put here some text in, then uh, for example paragraph uh, this is break this is break and then this is break then just close a uh, paragraph here so to make a paragraph we're gonna to make close uh, just just put that as an italic then uh, just close here by i uh, yeah. italic so save changes could you refresh now click ok so now this is back manake tayari user number one and shabba displayed and uh, this is back on uh, e number mili misha kuwa <coughs> shabba displayed so hiyo ndi kwa namna kuweza kufetch file la txt of course uh, tume fetch file la txt tume physical file mbali wako nye hadiris tume integrate na php ambao ni application programming interface api application programming interface ambao ni php kwa unazo katumia ajax kweza kufetch data ambao likawa ni file kwenye hard disk drive au likawa ni php concept ya mwisho kabisa ambao namaliza na nayo ni kufetch data kutoka katika json file json uh, file ambao lipo kwenye hard disk Konsepti hii ito haitufana tufotia ni sana na na hii hapa mba tumeiona hapa haitufotia ni sana and just kuandika file lako la json uh, just click new uh, now choose json kama unatumia ide ambayo tufote na hii haina shida ukuja kwenye save hapa ukuja kwenye save file lako kwenye save utali save um, kwenye htdocs hapa Docs. then utandika users then file extension itakuwa ni dot json umeona itakuwa ni dot json then una click na click save ah uh, then kinachofuata sasa baada ya kufanya kitu kama hicho uh, ni kuandika sasa wale user wako hapa manual kwa sababu kwanza kwanza tulitoa kwenye database sasa hivi unaandika manual so ya kwanza itakuwa ni id uh, id mfano nasema ni id id equal to uh, uh, number number 1 then na uh, uh, terminate then uh, inafuata ni name uh, name for example equal to uh, nakwenda ni quotation ali then inafuata ni agenda uh, for example uh, agenda agenda uh, equal to equal to mail mara mwisho ni kuweka semicolon maacha kuweka nini hii koma uh, huiweki manake then una click save so file letter index ili tuje tuli save as tuli save as then tuliandike kama ni index c index 2 mfano index 2 <coughs> php okay so tumetengeneza duplicate nyingine so tunakuja hapa kwenye kufi, kwenye um, ku load tulipokuwa tuna load uh, data wapi pale hii tunaweka sasa ile file letter jenson users dot jenson okay so now tunakuja huko mwisho uh, ile html template tunaiacha kama ilivyo ya hapa html template uh, tunaiacha kama ilivyo tunakuja kubadilisha ah uh, hapa hizi tunazitoa uh, then hapa tuna just ku na loop hii haipo of course sababu zile data ni, ni chache so just ondoa hii loop uh, just hii loop haipo then format code zetu zikae vizuri kama hivi so html template iko to na html template iko to your list group so hapa tuna tuna loop kwanza ili id id hapo so hii will be is an id id then uh kwenye loop okay so hii ilikuwa ni list ya kwanza so list ya pili tuta loop name uh cause kwenye users hapa kuna kuna name na agenda so hapa uh, itakuwa ni name name so just write here hii loop haipo so kama loop haipo 
hii tumetoa maana tutatumia ile JSON data ile variable ambayo ni hii hapa so that's right here JSON data na uh, hii yeah. JSON data na hapa hii ipo uh, JSON data dot this will be name another one tunamalizia itakuwa ni agenda so just la put here uh, JSON data dot uh, agenda agenda so now change this one to uh, to name and uh, change this one to to gender gender so now this one is not needed is a place not needed uh bas kina chifuata baadaye ni kuja ku print hiyo htm so now tujaribu we run so kwenye local host hapa then tunaandika file la index 2.php so just click okay click enter unakuta id number 1 name ali gender ni yeah. So hivyo ndo namna ambavyo unaweza kutumia Ajax kuweza ku so, tumetumia concept moja ya ku select two ndo maana method tulotumia pamoja tu method ambayo inaitwa get of course somewhere here hapa Katika video unaofuata tutaona namna ya kutumia method inaitwa post kuweza sasa ku send data kutoka katika HTML form kwenda kwenye database asynchronously without page reload na ku fetch data pale pale yani una send na ku na kufetch data pale pale ile hotel page reload. 